We've just recently had a lot of success with a program that we ran through the school holidays which was aimed at staff and students looking for holiday programs for their kids. We had an exhibition on where one of the artists, Sean Gladwell, was um, doing a skateboard video. He's actually an accomplished skateboarder and he combined his love of skateboarding with love of art and he created this wonderful video where he did 360 turns in front of iconic landmarks around Paris. Um, so we had that on in the gallery so what we did was we called in um, an organisation that teaches skateboarding classes. We got the kids to of all skill levels to do skateboarding class, the classes, a couple of hours, we did a sausage sizzle, then we put on skateboard movies and it was highly successful. We extended it, we thought we're going to have to do this every holidays. Traditionally we do a lot of floor talks and have guest speakers and those speakers always kind of um, reflect what we're doing in the gallery at the time. Uh, for example, last year we did Afghanistan and we had a, an expert on the political situation in Afghanistan coming in and talking and that was taken up by a lot of students who are studying political science. We involve students um, in, in, in many ways. We have uh, an exhibition, have done for the last 18 years, an exhibition every year of works from the School of Art and Design. As well, we're working on a project um, showcasing student work from the um, Faculty of Humanities for the first time. The next exhibition is an exhibition called Bella Kelly, which is a fantastic exhibition that's come up from Albany. Um, it's looking at a, at a woman um, who was born in the early part of the 20th century, a Noongar woman who was a pioneer um, artist uh, in Noongar culture. A lot of stolen generations children made some extraordinary artwork in the 1940s at the Carolup Native Settlement and some of her children were taken away from her and taken to the Carolup Settlement. Following that, in September, we have a wonderful exhibition curated by an external curator John Mattia, the exhibition's called Invisible Genres and it's um, part of the 400th anniversary commemorations of the landing of Dirt Hartog up at Shark Bay in 1616. And it's examining the influence of, in a nutshell, Dutch culture on the region over the last 400 years. If you've got half an hour or five minutes to come in and look at um, what's on, that would be great.